If your controller is still not communicating with your server and your online status either reads offline or your last download says failed, uh, there are a few other items you can check. On the controllers page here, you can look to see if the download port is 21,000. Also look to see if the controller and status request port is 21,001. You should also double check your controller's user interface to see if the download port and control port there is matching with 21,000 and 21,001. To do that, navigate to your browser, type in the controller's IP address in the browser, log in, and click on settings. And in this area, you should see that the download port should be 21,000 and the control port should be 21,001, matching your software's configuration. You should also note that the event port on the user interface should be 22,000. So if the ports are configured correctly, you have another thing you can check, which is your download and event server's name. It should match your system where your server is housed. So to check this, Navigate to your global dropdown in your program and go to the download server page. Once here, just check the computer name field to make sure your computer's name is accurate. To check the name of your server to make sure it matches, click on the Windows search and search for system information. Click on the app and look for the system name on this page. Make sure that it matches what's in your program in the computer name field, and it does. You also want to check the event server computer name and make sure your uh, system is matching that as well. So to get there, I will go to global event server and look at the computer name here. It should be the same if it's on the same system. Finally, another item to check is whether the services on your host server is running. The data service, download, and event services have to be running in order for the controller to communicate properly with the server. To check this, search for services in your Windows search bar and click on the app. Once you click on this, scroll down to the program services and check to see if there are any services that are not running. Notice here that the data service is running but the download service is not. So I'm just going to click the start on the left hand side here. All my programs services are running. So I'm going to look at sites controllers page and see if that is now online status online and last download succeeded.